10 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engine full power and lift off. Go Falcon, go Cygnus. And liftoff, Behold Falcon 9 and Cygnus take flight. M1D chamber pressure, nominal. The SS Willie McCool is en route to the International Space Station. Vehicle pitching downrange as all nine Merlin engines have lit. We are currently throttling down to prepare for max Q, which is the point in the mission profile where the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of aerodynamic pressure that will see nominal. on ascent. Max Q is reached when the air density of the atmosphere decreases faster than the increasing speed of the rocket. So look out for that call out, which we're expecting to hear shortly. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Max Q. And there's that call out for Max Q. Now coming up next are several events that are gonna happen in rapid succession. First is main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start, boost back burn start, and then fairing separation. Main engine cutoff or MECO is where all nine M1D engines stage on, the two engine chill. on the Falcon 9 first stage are shut down. This is followed by separation of the first and second stages. Stage one flip is when the booster uses its nitrogen gas thrusters to flip the booster around. And a few seconds later, the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will ignite to boost Cygnus to low Earth orbit, and that is also called out as second engine start one, or SES one. After that, Falcon 9's first stage will ignite again to orient itself to head back to land. And shortly thereafter, the two fairing halves will separate and expose the spacecraft to the vacuum of space. And we should be hearing the first of those call outs in about 10 seconds from now. Stage separation confirmed. And back startup. Stage one boost back startup. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we heard the callouts for all of those events, which again were Miko, stage separation, stage one flip, SES one, boost back burn start, and fairing separation. And coming up shortly, we should hear a callout for completion of the boost back burn on the Falcon 9 first stage. This burn, which will last in total about 50 seconds, is the first of three bur burns that the booster needs to go through in order to make its way back Eight to landing zone two. Shut down at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. So there was the successful boost back burn on the Falcon 9 first stage. If you're just joining us, you're watching live coverage of Northrop Grumman's Commercial Resupply Services 23 mission to the space station. We had an on-time liftoff at 6.11 p.m. Eastern Time from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Now, in order to make its way back to land today, the Falcon 9 first stage has two more burns to execute. Next up is the entry burn, where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. This helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters the upper part of Earth's atmosphere. And following the entry burn, the booster will go through its landing burn, and this is a single engine burn that brings down the vehicle's speed rapidly in order to land back on Earth. And we should be hearing the call out for that entry burn in about two minutes from now. During the entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but the vehicle is still moving really fast. And this causes it to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, which are also known as the rocket's plume, which deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle surface. And that's why our flight-proven vehicles look the way that they do. 
This soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses, and with each flight, the soot builds up a little bit more on the outside of the vehicle. We are still more than a minute away from the beginning of the entry burn. As you can see from the telemetry on the bottom of your screen, the second stage is still picking up speed and is carrying Cygnus to orbit. On the right side of the screen, you can see that engine burn, and on the left side, you can see the first stage decelerating and making its way back to Earth. Now you might have noticed on the left-hand side of your screen that Falcon 9 is equipped with those four hypersonic grid fins, which are positioned near the top of the first stage. Stage one is using nothing but those grid fins for steering as it returns to Earth. They orient the rocket during re-entry and guide it during its descent back down to Earth. Reusability is the key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, enabling more investments in critical space infrastructure. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission is performing this entry its fourth time. And the payload fairings are also flight proven, with one half flying for its sixth time and the other half flying for its third time. And we are moments away from the beginning of that entry burn. You should see the graphics light up as the engines do on the bottom of your screen. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's the call out for the entry burn startup on the Falcon 9 first stage. This burn is set to last about 20 seconds and again is slowing down the vehicle in preparation for its final burn and landing. These are stage incredible, burn shut down. incredible clear views that we have today. And we also just heard the call out for the entry burn shutdown, which is the completion of the Falcon 9 first stage entry burn. Coming up next will be the first stage landing burn, which is going to start a little over a minute from now. So soon we'll have that start of the landing burn of the first stage. This is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster used to reduce the speed of the vehicle for a gentle and precise landing. Check out those incredible views as it comes down. Stage one, FTS has saved. Stage one, transonic. Stage one, landing burn. You just heard the call out for the landing burn start on the Falcon 9 first stage. Again, this is the final burn that this booster will see before landing. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Stage one, landing confirmed. And that was another successful landing of our Falcon 9 stage rocket. Stage two has entered terminal guidance. This is the fourth launch and landing for this first stage. Stage two, FTS has saved. Coming up at around the eight and a half minute mark, we should hear a call out for second engine cutoff one or SECA one, which is when the MVEC engine on the second stage shuts down. That'll conclude the roughly six minute burn by this engine needed to get Cygnus into the proper orbit for eventually intercepting the International Space Station.